The Pittsburgh Steelers have hit the lowest point in the franchise's 75-year history. They've officially introduced a mascot. That's bad. How pathetic. Dan Rooney, the great Dan Rooney, turned thumbs down on the suggestion of cheerleaders. So instead, one of the great story teams in American sports will now have something called Steely McBeam running around the field. It is said to resemble former coach Bill Cowher, but it doesn't. Tony, you always defend mascot silliness. Yeah. You want to defend this? No, it's a terrible name. It is a porn star name. It is. Steely it is. McBeam. It's a, it's exactly it's a right. stupid looking thing. And the Steelers should be better than this. Do, do the Yankees have a mascot? No. Do the Celtics have a mascot? No. Do the Packers, Packers have a mascot? No. I hope not. No. I think great, the Packers wouldn't even you, let you a should, mascot onto the you, field. You no. Shouldn't, you shouldn't have no. these things. When you're on this level, you shouldn't have them. And if you're going to have them, you don't call it Steely McBeam. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's an insult to all the people in Pittsburgh. It's an insult to the history just, of the Pittsburgh I mean, Steelers. Bradshaw and Green and Lambert and Ham it's and awful. Swanee and it's Stallworth. It's awful. You know, it's and they got awful. this this stupid thing. I always tell you. Mascots should be banned no, I see, or beat no, down I like, if they ride an SUV I like over the your Philly center fielder's I, I like the chicken. I like Get the Philly fanatic. Out. Stealing McBean. No. Let's take a break.